In this video, you'll learn how to retouch an image and remove unwanted elements. In Bridge, locate image 3406 and double-click its thumbnail to open it in Camera Raw. This is a photo of the post office where I live on Cortez Island, BC. It's said to be Canada's smallest post office. I'd like to remove these wires overhead, which are a little bit distracting. You might remember in Camera Raw that there is a retouching tool called Spot Removal. It works by clicking a single point, and it replaces the contents of that with the contents of the green circle. This is great for spots, but it's not going to work for things like wires. So press Delete to remove that. This image has already been developed, so simply click Open Image to transfer it into Photoshop, where we will do the retouching. Before you do get started retouching, let's duplicate the background layer by dragging it to the new icon here at the bottom of the Layers panel. Rename this Retouched so that we have a separate layer with all of the changes that we make. And then zoom in to the top of the post office up here. Select the Spot Healing Brush tool and use Content Aware Mode. Open the Brush Picker. Make sure the hardness is all the way up to the maximum. And decrease the brush size so that the brush is about the same size as the wire. You can also use the bracket keys on the keyboard to alter the brush size. Go ahead and paint over the wires. I'll paint over this much of the wire and then release the mouse button. And you see that this content aware algorithm does a fairly good job of guessing what the pixel colors should be based upon the surroundings. You'll get better results with this tool if you do kind of shorter brush strokes. Don't try to get the whole wire in one go. Because the analysis is based upon the pixels that are surrounding your selection. So I'm going to go ahead and try to paint over these wires. It can be tricky because we have a really small brush and a thin wire. And as I do this, you'll see that the wake is blurry. And that's why it's important to use a small brush if you can. In this area, the sky is all the same color, more or less, so I can increase the brush size and make a quick stroke to cover the whole thing. This wire, in particular, is really bright because of the reflection on the wire, and all of that contrast really draws your eye in. So by removing this, it's going to look better, even if it is blurry. So just paint over this. And then we'll remove some of that blur next. But first, let's zoom out and take a look at the result. So there's before and after. A definite improvement. However, we can still make this better. Let's zoom back in. And use the Clone Stamp tool, which is located right here. Now the way that this tool works is it copies pixels from a source location that you must first identify into the cursor location. So before you use it, you have to hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows to get this cursor symbol here, which represents the source. Then click somewhere to specify a source location. So I'm just going to click right here and then release the key. Then move the cursor up and paint over this tree. And as I paint, if you look closely, you can see a little crosshair underneath the cursor location. That is the source from which I am copying pixels. So the source location relative to where you're painting is very important with this tool. For example, over here, I'm going to sample this as a source, and then go over here and paint a little bit. And then maybe I need to click up here as a source 
and paint in a branch right there. And again over here I need to look on the image for some similar area of a tree like maybe over here. Click that area and then paint over here. So using the clone stamp tool is often sort of a dance between selecting a source and applying it to a destination. Now over here, I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I can perceive this blurry line across. I can break that up using the clone stamp tool, maybe with a larger brush. I will sample a point down here, and then just paint over a few areas. And that breaks up the perception that you have that there's a line there. And again up here, I'm going to sample a point close by and then just paint over a few areas. This works very well on a tree because the chaos of all of the leaves makes it very believable. However, it is more tricky on something like a man-made object. Let's try using the clone stamp tool over here to remove this object. So I have the Clone Stamp tool selected. I'll hold down the Option or Alt key, and I will target this point right here at the bottom of this shingle. Then as I move the cursor over, I can see that point that I sampled within my cursor. I'm going to line it up carefully here with this shingle, and then I'm going to paint. And that removes that object. Let's also remove this whale over here. Hold down the Option or Alt key and sample a point right there. And then come over here and line it up and then paint over the tail. Then again, sample a point relatively close. Move the cursor over, lining up the dark, more or less horizontal line and then go ahead and paint over the rest of the whale. But as I did that, look what happened. It's copying in some of the whale because the crosshair is now painting over the whale that was there. So I'm going to have to choose a new point and do this again. So using this tool is really, as I said, sort of like a dance between locating a source and then painting and then doing that again and again from different perspectives. It's still a little bit blue over here. I'm going to select the middle of this particular shingle and then paint in a little bit here. Also, up here it's a little bit blue. I'll sample a point up here maybe and paint in a little bit there. That looks good. So I've removed some of the unwanted elements from the photo. And because all of those changes are on a separate layer, I can get the before and after views. So in this video, you learned how to use the spot healing brush and the clone stamp tool to remove unwanted elements from an image.